Now, when it comes to diet and weight loss, there have been trends and fads that come and go, and people end up uh, on the same treadmill, the yo-yo dieting. I'm sure you've heard of it. However, this next diet features uh, permission to break the rules, and I love that there's a chocolate bar right on the cover. That's the you had me with hello moment. Well, I'm joined by the author of The Rebel Diet, what a great name, Dr. Melissa Hirschberg, and the founder of Kama Aerobics, Helena Skripnik. Thank you for joining us today on the show. Tell me, uh, what are the tenets of The Rebel Diet? It's a great name. How does that rebellion play out in uh, the diet itself? So The Rebel Diet is all about breaking the typical diet rules. So it's all about letting our hair down, having fun with it, uh, enjoying the process of getting healthy and losing weight. So typically the rules are no sugar, no fat, no carbs, no chocolate, no dessert. No, no fun. Cheating, no fun, <laughs> exactly. And it becomes so daunting that no one even wants to embark on the plan and so we just put it off and put it off. So in this, um, with this book, with this plan, I want to embrace the fact that Yes, we're going to lose weight, and yes, it's difficult, but it does, we don't have to be perfect. We can eat, cheat, defeat, and that's the main message in the book. Eat, cheat, defeat. Exactly. Okay, and do you plan the cheating right into the diet? Is that how it, it goes? Absolutely. Or, or? So we're cheating in two ways. So number one, what we want to do is eat foods uh, that are delicious, mm -hmm. healthy. I've researched some of the best new products on the market so that you're eating foods that are healthy, but you actually feel like you're cheating. And we're actually eating real cheap food, like things like chocolate, things like fast food, things um, that you wouldn't typically think you could have on a plan, but I'm showing you how you can get away with it. So no more excuses. Anything goes. Okay. Now, in, in terms of weight loss, the, it's quite a wide spectrum. On the one hand, we have folks who have to have been told by their doctor that they actually have to lose uh, a, a significant amount of weight for other health-related issues. And then on the other end, we have people who just want to lose that last five pounds. Um, how do you reconcile those two challenges with the Rebel Diet? So it's for both. So what I have built into the plan is different levels. And I've um, compared it to skiing. So you've got your black diamond, your blue square, your green circle. In okay. other words, if you're really going hard and you really have a lot of weight to lose, then you go with the black diamond. If you just have a few, you know, five pounds and you want to take it more easy, you would go with the easier plan, which would be the green circle. Uh, the book is excellent for helping people shed pounds, but absolutely, it will also help you lower your blood pressure, lower your cholesterol, lower your blood sugar, um, beat diabetes, uh, and that's why I wanted to create it as a physician myself. Okay. Um, I want to bring Helena in, into this as well because there's a more holistic, there's a physical aspect as well and, and a workout aspect. But, but before we do, I just want to uh, briefly ask what is the number one mistake that people make when they attempt to lose weight and then fail? Eating too little. They try to be too perfect. So they say, I can't have anything sweet, I can't have anything that tastes good, I can't have a decent portion, and they make it so difficult that they end up getting starving and then you know, overeating and ruining it all on day two. That's okay. the worst mistake, I find. Okay, that's good advice. So, so um, give yourself permission to Absolutely. have a, have a normal meal. Yeah, give yourself permission to eat a decent sized portion, okay. to eat uh, regularly throughout the day, to eat foods that actually taste good to you, uh, but just do it correctly. And really I find that the most beneficial thing in this book is the pages and pages of grocery items, things you've never heard of, things like shirataki noodles, carb-free pasta, um, healthy chocolate bars, healthy protein, different, different foods that you may not have uh, known to look for before, I've, I've shown you how to incorporate them. Well, that's great. It'll be an education for folks as well to try new foods and lose weight at the same totally. time. So, Helena, you've, you've been on our show before with Kama Aerobics yes. and, uh, and shown us a, a workout regimen. How does that dovetail with what Melissa is writing about in The Rebel Diet? How, how does that come together? Well, losing weight, um, it, the, having a proper diet, of course, is absolutely great, but of course, we also need exercises. Mm -hmm. And uh, my approach to exercises is not rigorous boot camp style training where you just push yourself to the limit, like go, 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 you have to do it. Just like Melissa was talking about the food, that you should still have fun with it, you should still enjoy it, you should still love what you're doing. Because if you become addicted to your workout, and that's ultimately what Kama Aerobics is, it releases the endorphins. So you actually feel pleasure while do, doing these kind of exercises exercises mm -hmm. and if you're addicted to something you are more likely to stick to it and you're more likely to see the results <laughs> okay and there's a difference between an addiction to uh, endorphins and an addiction to chocolate which we 
Right, we're actually trying, that's exactly what we're trying to do. Replace uh, your hunger for food with a different type of appetite. Uh, and that's why the two, um, the two mantras come together so well. You know, mine is a, a rebellious take on losing weight and having fun with it. And Helena has a rebellious take on exercise and learning how to find pleasure in your workout, which is why it's so great and innovative. The bottom line for both seems to be allow yourself to have fun along the journey, al along the way. Tell me, tell me about, uh, you mentioned endorphins, is that like runner's high when somebody goes for a run and they come back all elated? Uh, how does that play into, into the work that you do at Kama Aerobics? Absolutely. Well, the way the workout works is uh, you sort of have fun because you do some uh, dance routines, uh, you do lots of hip moves, you do lots of uh, sort of done in a very sensual way, so mm -hmm. to speak. So as you rotate your hips and as you flex the muscles and you listen to the music, you get into almost this kind of state of trance where you are completely in tune with your body, with your mind, so you enjoy it, you indulge, you forget about your day, and you're just having so much fun that that's when the endorphins release, and it's sort of almost, you know, it raises your libido, and it makes you want to have more fun, and it makes you, uh, it develops a different kind of appetite, not just for food, but also for um, for all kinds of different pleasure. <laughs> that's a strong <laughs> argument for going to your workout. It's very different than waking yeah. up in the morning and, going, and, you know, dragging yourself to the gym. Jim, when you pr offer as a promise, you know, uh, a raised sensual libido pleasure, yes. <laughs> folks will want to work out all the more. And a diet that uh, includes and promotes chocolate. Yes. yes. People are looking for the cracks <laughs> in this regimen right now going, hmm, hmm. Now, uh, combined, what would you say, uh, I asked Melissa, you know, what's the one mistake that people tend to make? In terms of a workout regimen, what is the one uh, mistake that people tend to make? I think uh, maybe, well, obviously not sticking to it. Okay. That's always tough, and especially if what you're doing is you hate so much, you know, like if you're just making yourself like like in the army, you have to do it. Okay, so find the fun and keep yes. at it. We're, we've run out of time. Thank you very much for joining us. For more on The Rebel Diet, please go to therebeldiet.com. And when we come back, Marasha is in the kitchen cooking up with Mary Ann Amadeo. The book is called The Rebel Diet. Thank you so much. Thanks, Pat.